Welcome back. It may not feel like spring in North Dakota today as several inches of snow have dropped in some parts of the state already this week. But fortunately, NDSU has a sports bubble just for that reason. Let's go to West Fargo and catch up with Brian Sean to check in on the bison. Kelly, thanks. Spring football practices are not always something veteran players look forward to, but for others, they can mean a lot. North Dakota State lost a dozen players to season-ending injuries in 2017, including a few guys who are going to be counted on to play major roles. Now after a long wait, they are back on the field with their teammates. For North Dakota State seniors Greg Menard and Dan Marlette, it's not just another typical spring. For both, it's a chance to lace up the cleats and get back to work after missing almost all of the 2017 season due to a torn ACL in their knee. Initially when it happened that, that first day, it's kind of disbelief and then um, I think you just got to set it aside and realize what's ahead of you and what kind of road you're traveling. Um, I think that was important in my process. It's a little demoralizing when you're just on the sideline the whole season. It's a, lot, it's a lot longer when you're not playing than when you are. So it's good to be back out here and just being active again. Well, I thought I was done running patterns and a lot of stuff, but you know, it's, uh, it's not a bad thing. I'm glad to be back. And the first thing I thought was I get another year with the team and being around the guys, and you can't be mad about that. It's been a long road back for both players as they prepare for their final seasons in a Bison uniform, and they aren't taking a second of it for granted. It's been a while because I didn't do much of last spring ball because I had a class conflict and only six days of camp before I got hurt, so it's definitely good to be out here with the helmet and football actually starting again. I mean, especially being back with the team, doing things with the team is, is a huge part, but uh, uh, running around feels good, stretching, and I mean, getting the helmet back on is awesome. Both Marlette and Menard are limited this spring as they continue the long road back to full strength, but it's a start. No contact and no competitive drills, you know, no seven on sevens, no one on one pass rush. They'll just simply be able to do the individual for the first 20, 25 minutes of practice. I mean, just moving around in general like that, uh, for the most part until spring started, I, I've only been running straight, so shuffling and drops, it feels really good. Me and Coach Boot are trying to get individual drills in as much as I can, so I'm double repping on the individual drills instead of during the team. So just trying to get as many reps as I can and try to get that muscle memory back. Rehabilitation continues to be a significant focus as well, building up strength and flexibility. The rehab is really important, especially right after practice when we go ice it, go stretch it, go you know whatever I can with it so it, it doesn't stay so stiff. You know, as long as I keep on a bike or something, it, it actually feels really good. When spring ball's over and we get our little week off after school and come back for June, uh, the plan is to be full go, no adjustments, and just back to normal. Back to normal, a feeling both players have been waiting a long time for. Both seniors are expected to be starters for the NDSU defense come this fall. Menard led the Bison with 11 sacks and 15 tackles for loss in 2016, while Marlette started two games last season before his knee injury in late September. Kelly, back to you. All right, great stuff. Thanks, Brian. The NDSU Green and Gold game is scheduled for Friday, April 20th at 6.30 p.m. Central. Next on the show, we'll send it back up to West Fargo. Jody Norstead and special guest Chase Miller will talk North Dakota prep hoops and sports, all kinds of them when Midco Sports Tonight returns.